put in fresh uh, cilantro and parsley. So those are my herbs. All right, there's more to come. Lemon zest. Um, I also have a little bit of garlic because, you know, Arabic food, Mediterranean food without garlic just isn't. And then I also have crusts of fresh bread because I want it to be moist. Okay, so that goes inside. And then, of course, the main ingredients are gorgeous green pistachios that are raw. Then, what are you doing? I'm actually putting on a little bit of mustard, and it's a grainy mustard. I'm doing it for two reasons. It gives a nice acidic flavor uh, uh, underneath on the meat. It goes beautifully with lamb, and I'm using the grainy kind because I like the texture as well. And I'm slaving over a hot stove, Suzanne. And what that is doing is actually going to help stick my crust. And this is the crust that I've already prepared. And look at the festive color of this crust. Okay, it's right in time for Christmas. It's nice and green. And you be very generous with the crust here. And what's that, what that is going to do now is it's going to um, uh, keep everything sealed, all the flavor, plus it's going to get nice and crispy and crunchy. Now I also put it in raw, not, not cooked, because I don't want it to overcook. So we'll finish cooking now in the oven. And remember we half cooked our lamb, so now there's only half the amount for it to finish. So we're getting all festive and feasting here at uh, Feast Restaurant at the Sheraton Grand with Chef Suzanne Husseini, along with food blogger with my custard pie, Sally Crosser, and Chef Raymond Wong, who is looking after everyone here at Feast Restaurant. And just to say, congratulations to the Sheraton Grand, marking this week your one year anniversary. So I'm going to hand over our card from Dubai Eye to the marketing manager, Carmen. Happy birthday, and thanks to Linda for supplying a beautiful little balloon, just to say well done and congratulations. So, yay! Hi, this is Chef Suzanne Hussein. It's been cooking away her dish that is the lamp. We've got the temperature, or the thermometer now, poked inside the meat to make sure that the internal temperature, I like it to be around 60 degrees, so it's still nice and pink inside. What are we doing here? Can you read it, Chef? I don't have my eyes on. We're almost there. Okay, so, and I have my tomatoes ready here that I've sauteed in the very same juices that I sauteed the lamb. So these are lovely little tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes on the vine. Yes. Um, they're just cooking in their skins, just gorgeous. Exactly. And our fondant potatoes are ready to go, and I'm going to now no, take just, a knife. Just on the fondant potatoes yes. for yes. people at home. Yes. Um, when we're talking about fondant potato, yes, we're thinking of mashed potato, but when we think of mashed potato, we think of a big mound. This is not the case. These are beautiful, almost moulds of mashed potato. Yes, in French they call them fondant, which just means clean and soft. So basically, we've just sliced uh, about half an inch thick potatoes. Uh, a nice baking potato would be ideal, and we sauté them a little bit of butter or oil to get the caramelization first. Now, I like to serve three. This extra one we always throw to the chef. The chef <laughs> always gets the bones. <laughs> and if you look, if you take a look at how beautifully, may I say so myself, it's cooked. Uh, yes. yeah, and chef, thank you, Chef, chef Ray. Chef well. Ray is giving you a pat on the thank back. You. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a beautifully pink in okay. the center. And you, you notice also no juices came out because we allowed the meat to rest. Very important with any kind of beef lamb, poultry, turkey, everything, you have to let it rest so that the meat juices go back in their place. So here I have, I'm going to, to start to plate the dish, and I have a beautiful jus here that's been made, and I've added to the flavor of the stock of the jus some pomegranate molasses, a little bit of honey for sweetness, and of course my jewels that I'm never out without, and that is pomegranate. So I'm using ingredients straight out of the Arab world, Okay, to enhance a dish that would, would, would look comfortable on my grandmother's table, even though my grandmother probably wouldn't have cooked it this way. All right, so I'm going to start by spooning in a little bit of jus on my plate. So this is going to be the puddle that my lamb is going to sit in. Thank you, chef. All right, then I'm going to take my cutlets and I'm going to uh, mound them ever so elegantly. Mm -hmm. 
on the side. Now I'm playing with colors here as well, the festive colors that are traditionally red and green. So this would look perfectly on your Christmas table. All right. And I'm just going to wipe my plate because we also have to think of clean and neat. Uh, a few more pomegranates, but there is pomegranates on this dish, like you can see this. And then because of